The 1835 Democratic National Convention was a presidential nominating convention that was held from May 20 to May 22, 1835, in Baltimore, Maryland. This was the second national convention of the Democratic Party of the United States. The delegates nominated Vice President Martin Van Buren for President and Representative Richard Mentor Johnson of Kentucky for Vice President. Background On February 23, 1835, President Andrew Jackson wrote to James Gwynne of Tennessee and claimed a preference for someone who would, "...most likely to be the choice of the great body of Republicans." in regard to his successor. He expressed the desire to hold another national convention to nominate candidates for the presidency and vice presidency. He instructed Gwynne to show the letter to the editor of the Nashville Republican. The newspaper later reprinted the letter. Topic: <inaudible> Proceedings. Andrew Stevenson of Virginia served as the chairman and convention president. Six convention vice presidents and four secretaries were appointed. Tennessee, Illinois, South Carolina, and Alabama sent no delegates to the convention. Presidential nomination Presidential candidates President Jackson had long planned for Vice President Martin Van Buren to succeed him, and Van Buren was the unanimous choice of the delegates for the presidency. Vice presidential nomination Topic Vice presidential candidates Jackson and other major Democrats had settled on Richard Mentor Johnson, a Kentucky congressman who had fought in the War of 1812, as Van Buren's running mate. Many Virginia Democrats instead backed William Cabell Rives, the former ambassador to France, but Johnson narrowly won the required two-thirds of the vote on the first vice presidential ballot. A man from Tennessee, Edward Rucker, who was present at the convention but not sent as a delegate, cast all 15 votes Tennessee was entitled to for Van Buren and for Johnson for the contested vice presidential nomination. Johnson was nominated for the vice presidency after he narrowly won more than two-thirds of the total delegates' votes. The delegation of Virginia declared that it had no confidence in Johnson's character and principles, and would not support him. Letters went out on May 23 from the convention president and vice presidents asking for the acceptance of the nominations by the nominees. Van Buren replied and accepted the nomination on May 29, Johnson, likewise on June 9. General election The Whigs did not put forward a national ticket nominated by national convention. Van Buren defeated his many competitors for the presidency in the general election. While the electors of Virginia supported Van Buren for the presidency, they cast their vice presidential votes for William Smith. Consequently, Johnson received a plurality, but not a majority, of the electoral votes for the vice presidency. In the subsequent contingent election in the Senate, Johnson was elected vice president. See also History of the United States Democratic Party List of Democratic National Conventions U.S. Presidential Nomination Convention United States Presidential Election, 1836 Notes <laughs>